Hey guys, it's Pucci. We're going to find out what the bottom line is for our clothing resale business. Uh, if you don't know, we do have other businesses that we also run, but this is the clothing resale on eBay. So everything is thrifted mostly. There's some new stuff, but we buy stuff. We flip it on eBay to make money. And then every week I tell you how much profit we made and stuck in our pockets. So let's get into it. So here we are on eBay and we have the week of 129 to 24. So Monday was horrible. We sold like $51 worth of stuff on Monday, last Monday. I hope to God that this Monday is better. So far, not looking like it. <laughs> so if you're if you're someone who buys on Monday, please God go to Poochie's Pickers on uh on on eBay and spend some money. So let's see what we did. We did 1520 on eBay in sales for the week. Okay. Uh, if we go down, we see clothing sales for t-shirts is down actually almost 40%, which is crazy because we sell a lot of t-shirts on eBay. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the stuff that sold. Let's get into the numbers first. So I'm going to move this over here and here we see the numbers. See last week we sold 62 things. You can see that down here. This week we sold 56. Okay. Average sales price was $24.79 last week. This week is down a little, but on eBay it's actually up. So that's good. Uh, the gross sales, $15.20 on eBay. That's down a little bit. $15.78. Uh, it's down about 110 bucks from last week. Like I said, we had that really bad, really bad Monday that killed us. Also, I took a lot of the clearance stuff off of clearance uh, and just put it on normal sales with a normal coupon running. So that uh, that that dropped sales a little bit. Uh, shipping uh, was up as well. Last week, shipping was 190. This week, the total shipping is 427. This is not actually Poshmark shipping. It's actually uh, shipping discounts that we've given to people. I don't know. Uh, Poshmark calculates all that. We have sold more on Poshmark, by the way, but this is just a sales report uh, for last week because I guess on Poshmark, if you sell something, they don't actually put it on your sales report until it's cleared, the buyers received it and, you know, left you feedback or whatever, because these are, we've sold a lot more than this on Poshmark uh, lately. Where is it? Right here. We've sold a lot, several more than three items. I think we're up to like a dozen items or something in the last week or so, but those will show up on next week's report. Selling fees, uh, 21065 total. Promotion fees are only on eBay. That's 135 That is promoted listings. Cost of goods, uh, $172. A lot of this stuff, well, I can't see a lot of it, but some of it were things that <clears throat> we've had for a while, and I think it overpaid a little bit for them. Uh, like, I bought box lots, mystery boxes of Carhartt and stuff, so... Uh, on those, I kind of paid up for stuff. And I mean, I, I sold the best stuff immediately, but this is kind of the, the trailers, uh, that are the leftovers. So, you know, I, I don't usually pay $8 for, you know, a pair of Carhartt jeans. It just, you know, a car or a Carhartt shirt. I don't do it, but, uh, so that's why the cost of goods is a little bit high on the eBay site. Net profit is uh, 623.69 after all is said and done, all the fees have come out. Let's get into, first of all, let's get into the goals, okay? So these are the goals that we had. Uh, continue building better inventory. Yes, we are doing that. Clear out the old inventory. We are working on that. That is a long project process when you have over 5,000 items in your store. And a lot of it is from like a year ago when you didn't really know that much about <laughs> things, uh, cl certain clothing brands. Keep weekly sales steady. We have done that. We're down, like I said, about 110 bucks, but we're doing pretty good. Poshmark sales are up, actually. Uh, and source at the bins. We did that. We got 186.6 pounds at the bins. Booyah. 
and we got some pretty dang good stuff at the bins also. And then start doing whatnot shows. We have we have done that. My God, whatnot is whatnot is just it's so difficult to build up a following and an audience and people who know. I mean, we had we had a beautiful Ralph Lauren blouse that was two X. Uh, ladies Ralph Lauren blouse we could not get two dollars for it I could not believe it so if you are on whatnot make sure you uh, go to Poochie's Pickers I have links down below for you also if you're not on whatnot and there's also a video on the uh, the Poochie's Pickers channel uh, channel on how to actually buy stuff on whatnot because a lot of people just don't know they don't understand the app and it shows how to actually buy stuff it's a tutorial so let's get into now that we've talked about our goals we've talked about our sales and our profits let's get into what sold okay this is a pair of adidas busanits i don't know they sold for 47 bucks uh plus shipping so we got those i think Literally, we, we paid like three or four dollars. It was buy one, get one free. So, got that going for us. These, this took forever to sell. Forever. I finally, I think, took an offer of 20 bucks or it sold for twenty three ninety nine. I don't know. But Lily Pulitzer, it took forever. Uh, this is an old, old, old item that we got in a uh, mystery box of Lily Pulitzer items. Uh, would not do that again um, uh, but you can tell it's old because the photographs are just like oh yeah yeah the photographs are just not good now we have it to, down to a system in photos where we take like I think eight uh, photos of certain areas of every piece of clothing we list <clears throat> excuse me but a lot of this we're clearing off it doesn't we're clearing out it doesn't mean it's a bad brand uh, necessarily, it just means we don't want to take the time to rephotograph and completely redo the listing and everything else for an extra five dollars uh, on the sale or ten dollars on the sale, and no guarantee of that. So, uh, this account, by the way, is closed and it has been—it's a newer account. It's been open for about a year. So I've been selling on eBay for over 27 years, but this is a newer account and I haven't really done a lot of clothing. So uh, the only clothing uh, eBay account has been a learning experience for me. And I hope that the more videos I do, the more that you can learn as well. So the Harley, uh, the better Harley shirts, I think this sold for 23 plus shipping. The better Harley shirts usually uh, sell better from exotic locations or the ones with pinup models or um, like oh, hot sexy chicks on the back or the ones that have like a, an actual hog on it or a devil on it. Those sell pretty good. Uh, but this is from Seoul, South Korea. So... Pretty cool Harley shirt there. I have a ton of Harley shirts. If you're interested in the Harley shirts, please go to Poochie's Pickers on eBay because I have a literal buttload of them there. Tori Richard. Uh, we paid a few bucks for this, I think, but Tori Richard stuff sells pretty well, especially with nice patterns. You can see this has a nice pattern. It's also a nice size, 2XB. Uh, the 2XB... The tall sizes usually do uh, sell for more and sell faster in a lot of brands like Ralph Lauren, uh, etc. Peter Millar, things like that, and Tori Richard. This is a Joji sweatshirt. I got. I literally paid like five bucks for this. I think sold for thirty-seven ninety-nine. Uh, of this is Duluth Trading. I think I got this in a lot of stuff, but Duluth Trading is a pretty good brand. You just have to uh, be careful what you're buying Duluth Trading because it doesn't all sell. Just like a lot of brands like Ralph Lauren, it doesn't all sell well. Here's an example, okay? This is a Tommy Hilfiger. I know a lot of people, a lot of resellers are like, Tommy Hilfiger is a no. I do not buy Tommy Hilfiger ever, they say. But uh, this sold for $33.24. 
and the reason I got it is because it's funky. It's different. You see the back has basically a solid back and this is what we call color block. People like these bright colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's all sorts of different colors on this, so that is why it sold. It sold pretty quick too, actually. Uh, this same thing, very colorful, very cool. Now, you may not notice, but um, someone actually cut this. It's cut. So they like custom cut the shirt. Uh, I said it in the description, but it still sold for $23.99. It's a really cool uh, shirt though. Very cool design. This Antonio Brown, it took me a while to sell this. He's not a very popular player, but it did sell for, uh, sell for I think 30, it ended up selling for. These took a long mm. time to sell. The pictures weren't that great. I like to have the pictures with a crisp white background. Um, this is not that, but these sold for $40 and they took a while, but they finally did sell. Uh, Miss Me Jeans, these sold for 20. <laughs> Again, I, this was part of a bundle of stuff and I had it for a long time. And when somebody offered, I think 20 bucks, I was like, yes, please take them. It might've even been 15. I'm not sure. People say guest doesn't sell, um, like guest gap, things like that. But I mean, this sold, sold for 20 bucks. Just a cute little uh, snap button shirt. Uh, this sold very quickly. I literally paid like two bucks for this literally and uh this is jason williams it's a youth jersey but it's jason williams who used to be on the sacramento kings was a very popular player because he did all the fancy assists and the no look passes and everything so uh yeah this sold for 56.99 for a youth jersey which is great uh carhartt shorts we got these probably, I think, at the bins, so we paid next to nothing for them, and they ended up selling for $23.74. This is a lot. We have these bulk uh, wholesale pre-owned clothing lots, so what we do is we buy so much, we buy so much, uh, that we have tons and tons and tons that maybe is in our whatnot inventory. Um, it may you know, not be good enough, uh, a good enough brand for eBay, or it may just be a good enough brand, but we just don't have the time to list it. We need to move stuff out. So, uh, that is what that is. In fact, let me read you some of the brands we have. The brands, it doesn't say, oh wait, it does. Uh, brands could include Tommy Hilfiger, Chaps, Ralph Lauren, Old Navy, Savane, Dockers, and more. Also, there's Isa, there's Eddie Bauer. We should actually add more to that because we have a lot of brands that uh, we sell in wholesale bundles. Uh, Crocs. Yeah, I got these for like three bucks. I went, those are Crocs and they're like canvas. That's weird. So I picked those up. We ended up selling them for full price, $24.99. Uh, the Air Jordan shirt, I paid a couple bucks for this. Um, and it sold for, I think it sold for $20. Might have sold for $23.99. I, I, it sold for either $20 or $23.99. This, <clears throat> I kind of got on a whim um, because I thought it was a really cool shirt. I ended up selling for like $20, bucks, 19 bucks. Whitewater shirt. Uh, it has the little Marlin here. It has the Marlin uh, kind of chest hit. And um, it has these really cool, these really cool like vented sides that I thought was really neat. So that sold for like 19 or 20 bucks and I paid probably four or five for it. So I was fine with that profit. This paid $5 for this. It's a Tommy Bahama uh, reversible sweater. People say the Tommy Bahama stuff that uh, isn't wild and crazy doesn't sell. Yeah, it does. This sold for twenty eight forty nine, um, and I paid five bucks for it. So, and it sold really quick actually. Uh, these are Milwaukee Bucks 
You see Milwaukee Bucks and the NBA logo, Milwaukee Bucks sweatpants that sold for, I think they sold for, I think they sold for 18 um, Armani, this sold for the asking price of nineteen ninety nine. Uh Carhartt jeans. Okay. We got these at the bins. And these were absolutely destroyed. But some people love that. If you look there, the knee is out. Oh, God, you should see. We got a pair. I don't know what brand it was. We got a pair this last week when we went, went to the bins. And they... I mean, they have so many rips and tears on the left leg that there almost isn't a left leg. Uh, but these sold really well, twenty eight forty nine. We might have taken an offer for a few bucks less. Uh, Green Bay Packers, Devontae Adams, that sold for, for a full price of thirty one ninety nine. Football jerseys sell great during football season, guys. Most of them. Pilcrow Anthropology. I don't even know where we got these. I have no idea. But they sold for $23.99. Literally don't know where we got them. Uh, these, I know exactly where we got them. We got them from Fleek. So if you want uh, 25 pounds off a 250 pound order... To sign up for fleek.com with my special discount code, I will put a link uh, down in the bottom. So far, we've sold two pairs. Uh, we got, the video is on, I will link it. I'll actually put it right here. I'll put it, I'll put it somewhere. Uh, but you want to go and watch that video because we got jeans and we got jackets. We got two lots from Fleek. And the jeans, I've already sold like over $110, $120 worth of the jeans, two items. So I have like 14 left to sell and I've already completely made my money back. Um, and they've been extremely popular, gotten a lot of likes and stuff. But anyway, these sold for $47.49 and they are from that lot. Those, that lot was, I think, called hip hop jeans. Lululemon sold these. Uh, I think we sold them for 20 bucks. Um, yeah, we just, I mean, we don't do very well with Lululemon. So I know a lot of people do, but we do not. Uh, maybe we're just getting the wrong stuff. Champion shirt, this I paid two bucks for. Um, it is not that old but it's pretty cool because it's paradise island atlantis uh the dolphin uh where you can swim with the dolphins and that's a great logo in fact i don't know if you can see it can you see my tattoo of course you can you see my tattoo i have dolphin a dolphin tattoo that is a memorial tattoo so i like i like the dolphin design this sold very quickly uh we sold it for I think, oh God, I think 20, um, they were offer, they were doing low ball offers, low ball offers. And I was like, nope, cause you're offering right after I listed it. <laughs> so, uh, I think they ended up paying 20, which I was fine with, but the mountain t-shirts, some of them do really well if they're unusual, like people love wolves. You got the moon here and you got the purple tie dye. So that was a winner. I paid just a couple bucks for that. That sold for 20. This again sold very quick. This sold probably within, uh, I mean, within a day, possibly within six hours. I think Betsy said it sold like right after she listed it. So this is a Tommy Bahama shirt. Again, people who say if it's not colorful, if it's not, you know, whatever, uh, it doesn't sell. That's not true because this sold for, I believe, $25. No, $24. $24. So, and we paid like four or five. So, um, last item. Let's get into the last item. We had this a while. I sold this for $35 because we had had it a long time. This is a Disney store dress, uh, Sleeping Beauty. Now, let me tell you. These Disney dresses that are like the, the costume, like we had a Cruella de Vil one before. This is Sleeping Beauty. Uh, they can be worth a lot of money and they can sell very well. So when you are selling, uh, when you're buying Disney stuff, keep an eye out for these uh, 
character dresses, I guess they're called. I'm, I'm not sure. But they can sell for a lot of money, which surprised me. We got them at the bins. Um, so that is it for this week. Uh, the, link, the link to Fleek uh, is down below. I'll put that. There's also some other links. The birds are very excited about my links. We got rid of the loud birds. We found a new home for them. Can you tell? I didn't think so. Uh, so remember to buy low, sell high. We'll see you here next week with another uh, weekly sales report and profit report. Remember, this is only one of our eBay accounts. This is only one of our businesses. Um, so this is the clothing only one. But at this rate, this account is making over $32,000 net profit. Last, uh, last week we had $900 in profit. So the goal is this week to get over $100,000 in sales on this account. So far, we're doing okay. We have to average about $270 three dollars in sales every day in order to get over a hundred thousand dollars in profit on this account and some days we're doing better than that some days we're doing about that but since we are starting the year off now and we're going to grow the account it's not bad uh thanks for watching everybody make sure that you subscribe make sure that you click the like button please it helps the channel and um click that little bell and you'll get notified every week when we put up one of these videos or the other videos that we do thanks for watching guys have a great week